maybe there are so many myths I have to think I have to think hard about a, a myth about Africa. Uh, are there myths that we need to dispel about Africa? I think one of them is the myth of brain drain, the argument that uh, when African scientists leave Africa, that the continent gets poorer and therefore uh, underperforms. I think this is a myth because what we are starting to see is a, a large number of African scientists, in fact, working with their own countries and contributing back to the continent. And one can argue that if those scientists didn't live in the first place, they wouldn't have the technical knowledge that they have acquired by being overseas. And so the, the, the real myth here is not so much that people live but because they don't get utilized by their own countries. I think Africans are capable now to make use of, of, of the resources which are available, uh, to also make use of the foreign aid that they receive. And now Africa is asking for more trade than aid because there are now uh, potentialities in Africa for resource development, especially at this day. We will now talk about uh, the food crisis. Africa has a potential to produce food for itself and beyond itself if the resources are made available for her and the help. If a farmer loses 20 to 25 percent of his output, that's a lot. And why? Partly because there is no way of preserving the food. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there is no transport system that will make the farmer take the food straight to the market. There's the marketing arrangement is very difficult. These are peasant farmers by definition, they don't have the skill to organize large marketing and so on. So if we can look at some of these and tidy up the loose eggs, it will have immediate impact on food accessibility. That, I must say, it does not mean we don't need more food, to, we don't need to grow more food, but we also need to optimize the harvest that we make every year. People believe that Africa is just one country. Africa is a very big continent, and it's like Asia, and has many, many countries. And various countries are in different stages of development, and also have different types of problems. So we are usually lumped in one category as a useless continent, you know, where most of the times what you read in the paper is very negative. They show us mostly of what uh, people starving, wars, HIV, AIDS, and all that stuff. And I think that needs to stop. Africa has. 54 countries. I'm talking about, you know, uh, both sub-Saharan Africa and North, North African countries. And there are some of them that actually, you know, have very fast-growing economies. And corruption is minimal. The democratic institutions are quite strong. And um, governance is, is very good. There's, you know, there may not be so many of them, but there are quite, you know, um, a few of them that have done very well by every objective indicator. Nowadays all of the African uh, countries are extremely committed to uh, spending more money as well as resources for education and that's extremely important because we believe that's the only way to really uh, sustain uh, development in Africa. So if Africans are now talking about their own development, that, that's the starting point of the ownership. And this is what was not there from the outset. It is not always that uh, African countries go hungry because they choose to. Uh, take for example, between Japan and Kenya. Uh, Kenyan people spend 41 billion Kenya shillings every year to purchase Japanese products. On the other hand, the Japanese people only spend 1.3 billion shillings every year to buy Kenyan products. So who is helping who? You may need to know that uh, people with disabilities in Africa are also dying of HIV and AIDS because they don't have information, they don't have the knowledge. So the kind of policies that we want to see are the policies that will ensure that people with disabilities have access to all basic services. Réellement, de sortir un peu de cette image qu'on donne de l'Afrique, d'abord une image négative d'un continent en conflit, c'est faux, l'Afrique n'est plus en conflit, il n'y a pas que les conflits en Afrique, il y a une Afrique qui gagne, il y a l'Afrique des sportifs, il y a l'Afrique des, des, des chanteurs, il y a l'Afrique du théâtre, l'Afrique du cinéma, l'Afrique du savoir, donc il y a une Afrique qui gagne, qui est là, mais il y a une Afrique également qui a besoin qu'elle soit accompagnée pour qu'elle ne soit plus le marché ou le, le continent des matières premières. You can't feed the, the poor people theories 
um, there, if, if development comes within a country, it needs to be felt. And I think Africa as a whole is trying to achieve that more than they've ever tried to achieve that. And with the collaboration of places, uh, the international community and places like Japan as we're here, um, the future is very promising and we will achieve that.